Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. This is gonna be our day one Hawaii blog for the Big Island. This is our second trip to the Big Island and we're super excited to be back and we're super excited to take you with us. So keep watching if you wanna see what we did on our first day. Our first stop of the day is gonna be at Minute Stop at Ohana Fuels. And one thing to know about Hawaiian gas stations is that they're known for having really good food. So whenever we stop for gas, we always go inside and see what kind of food offerings they have. They had your typical cold deli items, as well as some hot items. And you can find traditional Hawaiian foods here like Spam Musubi, Chicken Katsu, a lot of teriyaki and rice items. Um, so it is good to check out the gas stations whenever you can. David did get a Spam and Egg Musubi for breakfast. And now we're gonna go drive to the harbor for our first activity of the day, which is whale watching. Our first excursion on the big island is gonna be a whale watching excursion, which we did purchase through Groupon through a company called Ocean Encounters. It ended up being about $50 a person, which is a really fair price for excursions on the ocean in Hawaii. So we were excited to do it. We hadn't technically ever been on a whale watching excursion. We do a lot of snorkeling excursions and we see a lot of whales typically when we come in February, but this is gonna be our first time whale watching. So we're super excited. As soon as we left the marina, we came across this little pod of spinner dolphins. And that was super cool. I'd never been that close to spinner dolphins before. And the captain was telling us that these Hawaiian spinner dolphins come into the marina during the day to sleep. And I wanna say this is around 9, 10 in the morning and they were coming in, but the captain said that right before they go to sleep, they kind of get all their energy out and they were jumping and being super playful in the water. So that was super cool, really neat little plus. I was super glad that we got to see these Hawaiian spinner dolphins up close. Our whale watching excursion was supposed to be a three hour excursion and we were probably on the water for about an hour and a half. We did see some whales from afar, nothing like we had seen in the past. Um, I don't know why there weren't as many whales this season, but we usually come to Hawaii in February and there's just a plethora of whales. So we were kind of disappointed by our excursion this trip. We didn't see a ton. They were all far away and um, we didn't see any breaching. So we didn't have the greatest whale watching excursion this time. And overall, just on our time on the islands, we didn't see as many whales as we normally do. So we were kind of bummed out about that. The whaling season here on Hawaii starts around mid to late November and goes into late April, early May. And after that, they go back up to Alaska for the summer so they can enjoy the cooler waters up there. After our whale watching excursion, we needed to grab some lunch because we were super hungry. So we decided to drive down about seven minutes into Kona, which is the main shopping and dining area for this side of the island. And we are headed to our favorite restaurant, Kona Tiang On Thai Restaurant, which is our favorite restaurant in all of Kona and possibly on all of the Hawaiian islands. We have eaten here several times because the food is amazing. And on top of getting really delicious food here, you also get it at a really fair price. It's gonna be hard to find restaurants in this area or on Hawaii that are gonna be cheaper than this. And the service is great, the food is delicious. So if you're on Kona, this is a definite must. It's a definite must for us. 
We come here at least once or twice whenever we come to the big island. The dishes here are affordable and they're also shareable. This is kind of more of like a family style and I would say that one dish can easily serve at least two to three people. This restaurant is also gonna be one of the best options for cheap beer. The menu says that the beer is $4.50, but our waitress said it was actually $4, which is just really cheap for restaurants on the islands. You're not gonna find anything cheaper than that, or at least I haven't. If you do know of a restaurant that has cheaper beer than that, please let us know and we'll check it out next time we go to the big island. First thing we're gonna show you is the pineapple fried rice, which is a mixture of pineapple, raisins, cashews, shrimp, chicken, and it is super delicious. This is something we get every time we come and it's always really good. This next dish is chicken fried rice, equally as good, but it's missing the shrimp, the pineapple, the raisins, the cashews. It's still good though. We also got pork chow mein, which is noodles, pork, and veggies. This was so good. This is our first time getting it and I was impressed at how good it was. Lastly, we got an order of pad thai, which is pad thai noodles with shrimp, chicken, egg. And it was so good. The food here is always delicious. I'm never disappointed. One thing you won't miss when driving through Kona is the Royal Palace. And this was the former residence of Kamehameha the Great and then later called home by other members of the royal family. This is open for tours. The prices for a guided tour are $22 or for a self-guided tour is 16. We have yet to do this tour. We want to, um, but we just haven't had time to do it in our last trips here. If you've done this tour, please let us know how you liked it. Our next stop of the day is gonna be Magic Sand Beach. And this beach is known for having really soft white sand. We did stop here last time we were on the big island and we had a really nice time, so we're gonna come back. There's also a little beach shack right next to the beach where you can get food and refreshments. And there is plenty of free parking across the street. We've never had an issue finding parking here. I would recommend this beach if you wanna just chill in the water, chill on the sand. There is a lifeguard on duty and also showers. So it's a super nice and convenient beach. And that's gonna do it for our day one Hawaii vlog. We're gonna drive back up to the hotel and it is getting dark, so we're probably gonna go to the grocery store, grab some food and call it a day. So join us tomorrow for day two and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.